Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to diagonalize the given matrix A by an orthogonal transformation. First, we have to check whether the given matrix is symmetric. So for that, we need to find A transpose. A transpose is changing the rows into columns. So this is the first row. We are going to write it as a first column. That gives us 2, 0, 4. Second row is written as a second column and third row is written as a third column. Then we find this A transpose and the original matrix A both are same. So it is a symmetric matrix. Only for the symmetric matrix, this orthogonal transformation is possible. Now we have to write the characteristic equation, which is the determinant value of A minus lambda i equal to 0. So we are going to get a determinant whose elements are 2 minus lambda 0 4 0 6 minus lambda 0 then 4 0 2 minus lambda this determinant value equal to 0 we are going to expand this determinant so it is 2 minus lambda into 6 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda minus 0 and second element is 0 then coming to the third element it is 4 into 0 minus 4 into 6 minus lambda which is equal to 0 now we will expand this 2 minus lambda into this product is 12 minus 6 lambda minus 2 lambda totally minus 10 sorry minus 8 lambda then plus lambda square and here it is minus 24 when you multiply with 4 we get minus 96 and this is plus 4 lambda when you multiply with outside 4 we get plus 16 lambda which is equal to 0 now let's expand this when you multiply 2 inside this is 24 minus 16 lambda plus 2 lambda square when you multiply minus lambda which is minus 12 lambda plus 8 lambda square minus lambda cube minus 96 plus 16 lambda equal to 0. So we can cancel minus 16 lambda plus 16 lambda and let's rearrange this. First term is minus lambda cube and there are 2 lambda square. So when we add that we get 2 lambda square plus 8 lambda square which is 10 lambda square and lambda term which we have is minus 12 lambda and the numbers 24 minus 96 which is minus 72 equal to 0. Now let's change the sign throughout. So lambda cube minus 10 lambda square plus 12 lambda plus 72 equal to 0. First, let's use the factor theorem to find the value of lambda. When lambda equal to 1, this will become 1 cube is 1 minus 10 plus 12 plus 72. Definitely, this is not equal to 0. And when lambda is minus 1, it is minus 1, then minus 10, then minus 12 plus 72. Again, this is definitely not equal to 0. Let's try lambda as 2. So, 2 cube is 8 minus 2 square is 4, 4 into 10 minus 40, then plus 24 plus 72. So here the total value is again not equal to 0. Let's try with lambda equal to minus 2, this will become minus 8, then minus 40, because minus 2 whole square is plus 4, into minus 10 is minus 40, and this is minus 24 plus 72. Here, when we add all this minus 72, then plus 72, we get 0. So we got one value of lambda, which is minus 2. Now let's use the synthetic division to find the remaining values. So for that, we have to write all the coefficients, which is 1, minus 10, plus 12, and 72. From this cubic equation, all the coefficients are written. Then we have to use the one value of lambda, which we got, which is minus 2. So this is 0. When we add it is 1, when we multiply it is minus 2. We add these two, it is minus 12, and we multiply it is 24, and we add it is 36, and we multiply it is minus 72. 
So totally it is zero. Once it comes zero, we write quadratic expression using these values. Therefore, one value of lambda is minus two, and we get a quadratic expression lambda square minus twelve lambda plus thirty six equal to zero. Product is thirty six minus minus twelve. So the factors are lambda minus six into lambda minus six. So we get the quadratic expression. From this equating individually to zero, we get two values of lambda, and both are six. So finally, the three values of lambda, those are the eigen values. One is minus two, other is six, and third is also six. So we got the three eigen values. Now let's find the eigen vector corresponding to these three eigen values. So first one, when lambda equal to Minus two. We have to use a minus lambda i matrix into eigen vector x1 equal to zero, and this is our a minus lambda i matrix where we have to substitute lambda as minus two. So this will become two minus of minus two. So it will become plus two. So four and zero, four and zero, and the middle element will be eight and zero. Then this is. 4, 0, and 4. So we got a minus lambda i matrix, and the eigen vector x1 is nothing but x1, x2, x3 elements. And on the other side we have 0. Now let's multiply this matrix using the first row corresponding elements with this column. So we get an equation which is 4, x1. Plus zero x two plus four x three equal to zero. Then second equation zero x one plus eight x two plus zero x three equal to zero. Two equations are sufficient to use a cross multiplication method to find the values of x one, x two, and x three. Now x one by take the coefficient of x two which is zero eight and four zero. Then x2 divided by take the coefficient of x3 which is 4 0 and coefficient of x1 which is 4 0. Then x3 by coefficient of x1 which is 4 0 in coefficient of x2 which is 0 8. Now we have to evaluate this determinant. Here it is x1 by 0 minus 32, so which is minus 32. And this is x2 by 0 minus 0, which is 0, and this is x3 by 32 minus 0, which is 32. So here, in taking the simplest ratio, we get x1 by minus 1 equal to x2 by 0 equal to x3 by 1. Therefore, we get the eigen vector, which is minus 1, 0, 1. Now we are going to take the next eigen value, which is six. So when lambda equal to six, a minus lambda i into eigen vector x two equal to zero. We have a minus lambda i here. We have to substitute six. So this will become minus four zero four. This will become zero. Zero and zero, and this is four zero and minus four into the eigen vector x two, which is x one, x two, x three equal to zero. Now we are going to multiply this, so this will become minus four x one plus zero x two plus four. X three equal to zero. Second equation, everything is zero. Zero x one plus zero x two plus zero x three equal to zero. Even the third equation is four x one plus zero x two minus four x three. Here, if I take first and second equation by using cross multiplication method, we get everything is zero. Even if we take first and third, both the equations are similar. It is just their signs are opposite. 
So even if I take first and third, we get all the values will be zero. So which is not possible. So we have to use a different approach. Let's take the first equation minus 4x1 and 0x2 leave it plus 4x3 equal to 0. Carry this to the other side. So 4x3 equal to 4x1. You can cancel these two. Finally, we get a condition where x1 equal to x3. So we can write the eigenvector x2 by taking these two or equal values that is 1 and 1. I have taken the simplest value. Then the x2 is 0. And the another eigen value is again x is equal to 6. So even if I use that, we get the similar condition. That is by taking the third value of lambda. Again we get the same thing. So here directly using this condition, let's write the another eigen vector where we are going to take x2 as 1. And the two equal values I will take 0 and 0. So first I have taken the 1 and 1 as equal values. And the x2 I have taken as 0. Now I have taken the two equal values 0 and 0. And middle value I have taken as 1. So we got three eigen vectors. Using these three eigen vectors, we have to construct the model matrix P, which is made up of the first column with x1, which is minus 1, 0, 1. Second column with x2, 1, 0, 1. And third column with x3, 0, 1, 0. Now, for every column elements, we have to find its sum of squares within the root. That is root of minus 1 whole square is 1 plus 0 square is 0 plus 1 square is 1. So totally we get root 2. In the same way, let's take the second column by finding the root of sum of the square of these numbers 1 square plus 0 square plus 1 square which is once again root 2 and in the same way let's find for the third column which is root of 0 square plus 1 square plus 0 square which is root 1 square which is 1. So every column element should be divided by these values to get the normalized matrix n. So n is let's write the first column which is minus 1 by root 2, 0, then 1 by root 2. Coming to the second column, 1 by root 2, 0, then 1 by root 2. Coming to the third column, dividing by 1, we get the same elements. Now, from this, we can find n transpose, which is writing the rows into column. So, minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, and 0. First row is written as a first column. Second row is written as a second column and third row is written as a third column. Then after this, we are going to use the formula for diagonalization D equal to N transpose A N. For N transpose, we copy this. Then for A, we have to copy the question. Then at the end, for N, we have to copy this n matrix. So the elements are minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 and 0. Now we are going to make a product of this last two matrix first. So d equal to, first this matrix is written as it is. Now we are going to make a product taking the first row, multiplying with the corresponding elements of the first column. So that will give minus 2 by root 2, 0 and 4 by root 2. After simplifying this, we get 2 by root 2. Then multiplying this with the second column, we get 2 by root 2, 0, 4 by root 2 which is 6 by root 2. Then last one is 0, 0 and 0 totally. In the same way, let's take the second row and multiply with this we get 0 into this is 0, 6 into 0 is 0, 6, 0 into this is 0. Totally it is 0. Then this will be 0, 0 and 0. And again this will be 0, 6, 0. So totally answer is 6. In the same way, let's take the third row and multiply with the corresponding elements. So minus 4 by root 2, 0 plus 2 by root 2 which is minus 2 by root 2. 
and this is 4 by root 2 0 and this is 6 by root 2 and the last one is 0 0 and 0 after this we are going to make a product of these two matrix in the same way take the first row multiply with the corresponding elements of the first column so we are going to get minus common denominator is root 2 into root 2 is 2 so we get minus 2 plus 0 minus 2 then with the second column we multiply again the common denominator is 2 so we get minus 6 plus 0 plus 6 and the last one is 0 0 and 0 totally 1 0 in the same way let us take the second row and multiply with the corresponding elements of each column so coming to this we get common denominator is 2 and this is 2 plus 0 minus 2 then again this is common denominator is 2 then we get 6 plus 0 plus 6 and again the last one is 0 0 and 0 total it is 0 then coming to the next one taking this third row multiply with corresponding elements of this column first is 0 second is 0 third is 0 so totally this is 0 similarly this is 0 here because 0 into this is 0 1 into 0 0 0 into this is 0 the last one is 0 then 6 then 0 so we get only 6 so finally we got the matrix D simplifying this further we are going to get D equal to first one is minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 by 2 is minus 2 and this is 0 because we can cancel minus 6 plus 6 here also this will get cancelled so this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 12 by 2 which is 6 this is 0 this is 0 0 and this is 6 so finally we got the diagonal matrix where the leading diagonal elements are nothing but the eigenvalues which we got the eigenvalue which we got is minus 2 6 6 and these elements are present here so as per the question the diagonalization of the given matrix is completed